to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. The Goss throw going into the hands of Williams. Second down and five. Here's Swift. And maybe Shane's in the steel curtain here as the Steeler defense drops him behind the line again. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is gone. And that will be incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go draw play. This is Samuels. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Now it's Roethlisberger. Looking deep here for Ebron. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. On second down, it's Snell. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he will have a Steelers first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. As you know, so many things in the passing game are based on yardage. Sometimes it's just based on timing. And that's what we saw right there on that play. Third and three. Just get the ball right to the receiver. Is the hitch route. Tell us, what is the hitch route? Yeah, just take really one step, like you're driving off the line of scrimmage, get the defensive back on his heels, get the ball out to the receiver, and he does the rest. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Roethlisberger will throw. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. 
Le'Veon Bell stops short of the line to gain. And the Lions will take over. On first down, gone. Seven yards to pick up there. Three yards remain for second down. From the gun, here's Swift. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Once again, it's Swift. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the veteran, Richard Sherman. And the Steelers are going to get the football here at their own 23. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Now a first down carry by Bell. A strong running. <laughs> Another miss. Still on his feet. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 108 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Roethlisberger going to hand the bell. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Jalen Samuels taking it in from seven yards away. And the Steelers offense, they continue to pour it on. Extra point on the up a bit, but he gets it to go. And that will extend this big lead. Well now to kick it away after the touchdown. From the 10. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. Now, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Gone. 
it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw, gone. And now another turnover as this is intercepted. Joe Hayden, the veteran, with a pick. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turning over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing, but I'll guarantee you, it's not very good. Second down, again, they defer to Snell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Here's Roethlisberger. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Picked by Tracy Walker. 30. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, maybe a small measure of revenge for this defense because they've been thoroughly dominated so far, but a brief bright spot there with that pick six. Seemingly coming up for air after being dominated, as you described. They get a nice play there. Probably not going to change the balance of this game, but they have to feel a little bit better about themselves after that one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. On third down, Roethlisberger. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. On first and ten, gone. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. On second down, Swift. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running is Swift. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Coming up on second and seven. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 27. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. 